What Finally! What are they doing? The home of old tube. <laughs> Always is. Well, put away the fucking assault rifle. You've never used one. The superstructure is a reaper. Not just any <laughs> reaper. A human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more. Can I talk to him? Have a nice, lovely conversation before he picks me up and crushes me like I am nothing? Chews me up like stupid fucking what flesh gum? By turning humans into this reaper With shell. extra flavor juice that is my blood, and potentially urine, and potentially everything else within me. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. But they're Protheans! The are just Protheans. Why would they help the reapers? <laughs> just reapers Protheans. Fuck them. Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean reaper and failed. Over time, so why did they, they succeed the with the human one? Their needs, changed them, turned them into workers. Tools for the reapers. Why does it look human, it Edie? Look like a human. Why? It appears that a reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Why use organics? Why do they need you know what that implies? Body? You know that that implies that the fucking reapers... reapers sapient constructs. A hybrid of organic the normal look of a reaper ship? That was an organic that fucking massive before. It seems probable that the reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Kind of like a sari, but with extra, but with less tits. Disappointing levels of tits, really. Significantly How many more. more. Do you think they try to take? Millions. It's only like what a quarter done. It's, it's just a rib cage and a skull at this point. This reaper appears to the most be important part of all of humans. An embryo in human terms. Edie, is it alive? alive we can still stop it from being created. The process can be stopped. But it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. Robo abortion, robo abortion, robo abortion. Let's stomp the fucking baby. We can't let it survive. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the support. It's also got all our melted friends in there. That's fucking yeah, Ashley's easy. sister. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Do we fucking really? I don't remember there being more goddamn collectors here. Give me a fucking break. Don't you dare hobbing at me. Of course it's that one. It's the fucking assassin. Actually, that's fine. <laughs> that means I don't have to deal with a fucking assassin. Why wouldn't you get the drones? The drones are useless. Garrus, please. Are you fucking... What? Garrus was still moving, but it told me he was dead. How did I die? I wasn't even I was in cover. I was being a good boy for staying perfectly safe in the confines of my own home. There were just eggs embedded into the walls here. I just ran out of fucking space. I went SpongeBob home is nothing but diapers. <laughs> yeah, exact same situation. Bye? What? No, I said bye! That means you have to go away! Are you serious? I'm gonna die immediately. There's no way around this. At least she's using a shotgun again. I didn't want to have to fucking tell her to switch. Oh my god. Up! Yes, it very much does hurt me when you end the life of my. No! Go, 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 go! My Korean princess! But she just genuinely is. I'm not being weird. She is basically a princess. Go! Being under the floorboard seems like a pretty safe place to be. You know, as safe as places can possibly fucking be. When Harbinger is right here, and the end of your entire civilization is right a fucking above you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Horcrux, and I never fucking will know. 
just as upsetting to me as it is to everyone else, I'm sure. Barrier! Come on, Barry, you can take it. You're a big boy now. The power is on my- You know how many of you I killed? Literally thousands. I've taken apart a Harbinger. So many times. Like, find someone cooler. Find anything. Oh, Garrus gets up naturally. Hell yeah. All right, tube time. One. Two. Ah, fuck. You couldn't get that tiny little nib. Are you serious? I'm almost out of ammo. I have eight rounds left in any kind of decent gun. And they're all the way over here. Fuck. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. All right, this place seems safe at least for five seconds. That's definitely a corpse. There's no way that's the motion she chooses to move in. Oh no, it is. She's fine. That did not seem very comfortable, Tali. For a woman of your proportions. With backwards knees of that fucking degree. You ever seen knees more backwards than that? I haven't. Fuck's sake. Don't make me do it all again. Everyone keeps dying on me. It's not my fault. I can't tell. I can't- Oh, but there isn't any fucking platform here. Are you serious? Alright, Garrus, you're here. Tali, you're like there. Me, I'll do whatever the fuck I can think of. And I won't waste every last sniper round on the first set of enemies. What I might do, though, is nuke everyone. Seems much more reasonable, no? Why does overloading a barrier not fucking work? That's exactly what it's supposed to do, right? Alright, one free drone kill. This is fine. And he's dropping ammo. Why didn't they do that last time? Or did I just accidentally pick it up in the middle of combat like a fucking idiot? Man, why don't I tell people to go where they're supposed to fucking go? As soon as I do, we become unkillable. Chiquita is taking so many hits from Harbinger that I can never even dream of. Why is Chiquita so much cooler than me? It's nearly dead. This has gone so much fucking better. I'm unstoppable. Shoot the tubes, shoot the tubes, shoot the tubes. Uh, sniper has shoots fastest. Fuck! Okay, I think there is genuinely a limit on how many you can hit at once. Um, okay, Tali, I want you here. No, 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 Garrus, there, 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 there. That was really bad. Nearly couldn't get in any kind of cover at all. Now we snipe. And I'm gonna leave the ammo over there where it belongs. I'm not gonna take it yet. Maybe I just never checked. Maybe I didn't even look for ammo. That sounds about right. That sounds like me. That sounds like the dumbest thing in the world, and therefore, just like me. Get him. Shockwave. Go. Please hit. <laughs> Why was that guy ready? Oh yeah, I have companions that are actually sometimes useful. Should probably know about that. That's kind of the entire point of the game. They are kind of the best parts of the game. All right, ammo, please. Now's the time. Now's my moment. Really? You didn't even harbinge once? Is it because he harbinged twice of it? No, he didn't. What? He's just stupid. Open wide, motherfucker. Not your mouth, though. I'm only here for your wrists. At least they got that right. That is where we put our arteries. It's where the emos go, why shouldn't we? Overload works on shields, not bar- Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I always confuse the two fucking things. Goodbye, buddy! And that's all it is. Shepherd's <laughs> ground team. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. How do you even know how to do that? It's just a random hole in the ground, Shepard. That looks- oh no, that looks very Prothean, actually. I guess this is what Prothean ships look like. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I'm just getting started, elusive man. Finished here yet. We should really this call him- he needs like a little name. Wait, Illy? I have a man? I'm Manuel? The schematics ED uploaded. A timed radiation Sive. pulse would kill the remaining collectors. But Lucy, it's gotta be Lucy. Technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. Go fuck yourself into oblivion. This place is an abomination, Lucy. Five people. Turn them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I, I don't know, want a Reaper with Cerberus. But we have to stop the Reapers. If we destroy this base, then all these people died for nothing. 
They were working directly with the collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. How can I trust You're you? You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own reaper. <laughs> My goal is to save humanity. Oh, I wonder. At any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. Imagine how the Council will look upon me if I keep this thing fucking going, if I show this to them. I mean, it's proof of the Reapers, but they'll just be like, Ah, oh, Shepard, you built this. You and your filthy fucking Cerberus uncle. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel right, Lucy. No what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would what say seems more fighty than nuking far, this giant man to the ground. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. I am nothing in comparison. I mean, I guess I did get necrophilia back to existence. Sorry, ne necromancy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta romance before you philia, right? So he'll romance my neck, or potentially my neck, my, my necro form. And uh, then maybe, you know, buy me buy me a few drinks. I don't know if I live off blood now. That wouldn't wouldn't surprise me too much. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, 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 I may be Necro Philip. But we don't need this. Not Cerberus. Not fucking... Just think of all the implications that's going to have. I played through this game many, many times, and I have not once found out what the fuck happens if you keep it. And I have no desire to now. Normally I put the really big decisions up to chat. But I would rather die! And I know there's a lot of monsters in my chat through this entire fucking series. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assume direct control this time around. Get the fuck out of my face. I've never been so gross. I'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard. I mean, we did kind of keep stake, the genophage information, done but, like, you. You. I don't even think this shit's gonna help. Ha! <laughs> Tali, you're incredible! This is why she's ultimate go. Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows- Ten minutes?! Apart. I'm absolutely gonna be corpsified again. You really think that big, 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 big boy is going down without a fight?! Fuck no! I think I brought a nuke, huh? I <laughs> fucking one shot this dude. Reaper human larvae. A lava, I guess. I guess larvae is plural. I'm fucking no. Never fucked Garrus. I know nothing about bug people. Ah! What's a weak point? What do you mean? The eye? The eye. Oh, I'm not good at aim. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, hello? You are still a nuke. You're still allowed to go off, you know. I'm saving. I'm loading that fucking save. That was a complete embarrassment. I'm not wasting my nuke. It's a nuke. And that's probably just going to keep traveling throughout the vacuum of space forever. Why can I change my people? What? Why was that even a thing? I don't know. We nuke from the fucking start. We don't let anything get in my way. Even this giant mouth laser. Are you fucking serious? Ah! I hate this. I hate this man. I just gotta assume that he's always gonna be lower down than I expect him to be. Go! <laughs> I just wanna use my new. I've been saving it for this moment for so fucking long. Yeah, yeah, then he goes up. Then he goes down. Yeah! Kinda. Did no damage because I barely scraped the weak point. But oh well. Are we charging again? No, the nuke doesn't do anything anymore. It has to be at 100% capacity or it won't even fire. I thought maybe we'd be able to like fire off half a nuke. But no, but no, and he's barely taken any damage. What the hell is that? That's not what human hands look like. It's not what anyone's fucking hands look like. What the fuck? I do more damage with my stupid sniper. Chiquito, we need you. Please, oh God, be the first line of sacrifice. That's a big limb. That's also not what a, no, you've mistaken us with the Asari again, dude. And that definitely shouldn't be coming from that, but you're a larvae! This feels wrong, this feels TOS! I can't stare at baby tentacles! And tentacles is a stretch! Stretchy as those tentacles may be. Uh, can I please find some power cells? You really didn't give me anything? If we die here, I'm definitely switching out to the laser. Collector beam's what we fucking need! 
If I can recollect everything, maybe I can just build the humans back up. Fucking please, die! Um, okay, Garrus, overload it. That's gonna do nothing. Should have armor pierced. Um, singularity in the eyeball. Doesn't sound very nice. I wouldn't exactly want a black hole eating away my eye flesh. Absolutely crying. Why are you crying? What did I do? The mist nuke. Shepard is the modern Kim Jong-un. You know the exact same thing is gonna happen when that shit finally goes down. I think it's probably bringing me a harbinger just so I can pinata the shit out of him. Because as if he's supposed to be scary at this point. Maybe the Collectors are just throwing whatever the hell they can at me, but he's already dead. Come on! Wonder if the other eyes are a weak spot too. Oh God, my stupid ring! I've taken away my entire fucking platform! Don't like! Don't fucking like! Whoa. I'm gonna lose my clothes. No, we're fine. Normally he sends out a little shockwave that makes me naked, but not this time. Really? Are you gonna take my entire life and you don't even get me to like, you won't even allow me to die in the way I've always wanted? Oh, he's dropping heavy weapon ammo? That's a surprise! And that is more than enough for Nuke 2, Nuke Harder! A good day to nuke card? I don't, I don't fucking know. I think I hit a fucking collector. I think I hit a collector on the fucking way over. I hate this. I hate this so- What is that? What am I supposed to do? Just give me a house to hide in, please. That does absolutely- That's not even worth it. I think he's got a black hole in his mouth. That's disgusting. Stop trying- More. More nuke. More nuke. More nuke. That's a big set of nukage as well. We might be able to fill that up like one last time. How can you consider this a weak point? To be fair, this is me taking on like a whole reaper as a one to fucking do. How many like ships died to the first one? I was about to say we're technically inside of it, but no we aren't. Just shut the fuck up, Harbinger. You're just getting in my way. I ain't space to think. When I'm committing the world's largest murder, what's- <laughs> Oh! Oh fuck! Oh no, that's how you know we're here to destroy. The funny number has arrived! It's providing us with all the bravery, that's all we needed! Are you guys feeling nice? As I'm feeling nice! Come on! Where did you even go? I hate being zoomed in on this thing! It just disappears all the time. I think that's where it does its fire breath. We're gonna get the fuck down. Ah! No, that's right. I think it just does trip. I think it's too heavy to keep itself up. Its arms are all fucking floppy. It's a little weakling. If such thing even exists in Reaper World. Everyone's favorite theme park. One day it will exist. Once we finally wipe out the fucking threat. If we wipe out the fucking threat, who knows? Barry up! Just fucking die, please! I only use it if a dinky fucking pistol is what brings down the human reaper. I will be so proud. It did it! <laughs> My nine millimeter rounds. The shit you use to hunt rabbits when you're desperate. Can't waste the meat. Let's skin this motherfucker. I want his leather. I want to wear him. It's like Legion War me, not you, Garrus. I'm not, that's not why I'm saving you. I, I, I want to wear you like a glove. That's different. Actually, you can be my condom when I'm banging Tali. At least you're Dextro. You eat the same shit. You might be less toxic. But that would involve me going and coming out the other side. We're going to be like a fuck conga. Why are we all <laughs> under a piece of debris? At least let me entirely be under the same one. Like a very, very, very weighted blanket. We're gonna feel so relaxed. That cures all of Tali's anxiety. Which honestly makes her a lot less cute. Boring. Confident women? Ugh. Gross. What's that? I'm kidding. <laughs> but she is adorable. She's just fine. Thank fuck for Quarian Barthrobes! Thank you for the GG. That was the goodest of G's. The G-est of G's. Human, you've changed.
changed nothing. Well, you're just gonna do it all again? The attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Why are we just running away? They've got guns! Using Garrus as the meatiest of meat shields! His Pringles can can't hold up forever! In fact, I took off his Pringles can. He's in a much more like skin tight latex suit. Jacob! Jacob Joker! Never get excited for Jacob. What the hell am I talking about? You beautiful boy! How are your legs holding up? Are they just gonna snap like a toothpick and you'll fall in? Actually, yeah, please, assimilate Joker. Then the next human reaper's gonna have no fucking legs. It's gonna have no bones. It's gonna be a fucking man pile. They'll have to sponge bathe it. Bath, bathe, bath, whatever. Clean under all the folds, and it's all gonna be folds. Detonation in 10, 9, 8. No bones to create, not folds. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I'm excited! And Norman is coming home! I don't know how that- are we just gonna use the other relay? Is that safe? First ship to ever return. Norman herself. We will find another way. Giant gaping holes that were never meant to be there, but- <laughs> Wait! You actually have free will? Well, I guess not all collectors are Harbinger, who is now clearly a fucking reaper, a very adorably small reaper on that cute little Skype program. But now we know. I mean, it was pretty fucking obvious anyway. We've heard Sovereign's voice, we've heard Harbinger's voice. They got the exact same larynx. God, that was good. But they like, they seemed sad. It seemed like they wanted to exist. They wanted to keep going. Even though they now have no reason to. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Colonists, uh, fuck it, spare me the lecture! I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm getting a lot of bullshit on this line. Don't <laughs> try my patience. The technology from that base... What a matter of fact way to deliver that! The galaxy ...against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance, or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. Why am I so pale here? What the fuck are you- What's happened to me? I- I am 99% milk. I am if milk became sentient. You're on my team now. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I know what you are, and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside. But don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. Lucy absolutely deserves to be treated like a naughty little puppy. This is incredible. We'll wrap him on the fucking nose with the ultimate newspaper. The newspaper of... Yeah! Period. I don't think so. I'm gonna stop the Reapers. But I won't sacrifice the soul of our species to do it. Oh, that fucking smile! It's so rare when my Shep smiles that when it does happen, it feels like a really big moment. It was a really big fucking moment. God, he's a shiny little boy. I love that. I love the duality, son. When you've been a bit of a paragon and a bit of a renegade at all show. Unless that's showing that Lucy's very, very renegade. I wonder if you can ever change him. Like, by being a nice boy to him all the fucking time. I'm like, making a very specific set of decisions. I doubt it. He's never really a character I've tried to influence. I normally keep that to my crew. I'll puppeteer those meat puppets around as much as I could possibly do. Dance, spiky monkey, dance. It faded. He saluted me. Cute. Did everyone live? Legion, Jack, Grunt, Garrus, obviously. Joker's fine. I wonder if Joker could die. I don't think he can. Oh, my beautiful squad! 
The gang's all here! All here and queerer than ever. It's time for DLC. <laughs> oh no! You know how much it took to beat one? To beat two even? Oh, Casey, we miss you so much. Good luck at Humanoid Studios, by the way. Like, three, four, five days ago or something? Very surprised Jack lit- I know! She hated me! I, I guess maybe I was just being nice the whole way, but I thought anyone who's disloyal dies. I guess I'm- I guess she was still loyal, I just <laughs> didn't treat her all that well. And Casey Hudson started a new studio! Ah, it's called Humanoid, and they're apparently working on a really, really ambitious RPG. So there are gonna be indie! But Casey's hopefully rich as shit, and if it's the dude buying the original Mass Effect trilogy, you know he's gonna get all, like, the Canada grants possible. Fuck fixing actual problems in Canada. Let's make some fucking video games, yeah? Yeah, for the culture! Oh my god, man. Oh, fuck, that felt good. We ain't done! We ain't done! Some of the best parts of Mass Effect 2 are in the DLC. I adore Lair of the Shadow Broker. I adore... Overlord, I even adore the other one, Arrival! They're all fucking incredible, they're all so good, and yeah, I, I wanted to save them till after the main game, because then that gives us more time with Legion. There's at least two, I think, that I want to bring Legion on, that he has like a lot of dialogue to share, and I just didn't do that last time, because I did all the DLC prior to finishing up the game, and goddamn, it's as good as ever. Morden is the best choice to send back, if you don't send anyone back to the ship, then when you send Morden, the crew dies, yeah, because last time, I did everything right. Oh, not last time, but a time. Um, Morden, uh, was fine. I didn't use him for anything. I even brought him on- I- I think the issue is, he had- he just naturally has like a 12% chance to die out of nowhere or something. Cause there's like all these hidden stats, there's something like attack power and defensive power. So if you leave Morden to hold the line or whatever the hell, that counts as like defensive power. And I believe he has the lowest out of anyone in the entire game? Except maybe Jack? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, leaving him there just gives him a flat percentage chance to die, and I got very unlucky very many times. So uh, sending him back, I wasn't sure if that would count as defensive, because he's trying to save the fucking team and everything. Hell, maybe it did count as defensive. But he lived. He lived, and I'm very happy. Everyone lived. Joker. Sharkwiss. Kelly. The only people in the game that fucking matter. Joker's your favorite human, I, I have to agree. I have to- uh, Shaquis is cool, but she just doesn't talk as much. I mean, Shepard is obviously- she, he's like- he's pretty, uh... He's pretty lit. He's pretty- <laughs> Gross. He's pretty, uh, hip and happening. He's, uh, uh, funky fresh. How long can I keep this up? What else is there? He's, uh... He's- he's- he's fly, man. Uh, okay, I'm- I'm all, I'm all out. I don't have any more. I hated all of that. Um... Wow! God, it's so- it's Samara's voice actor's name is Maggie! Fucking Maggie! Are you sick? That's incredible! One of the greatest games of all time. And I believe it came out in like January 2010. What a way to start off one of the best decades for RPGs ever. The Mass Effect trilogy for the most part happened in the 2010s. The Witcher series for the most part happened in the fucking 2010s. Except the incredibly underrated first game. If you haven't played The Witcher 1, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go play The Witcher 1. Mod the fuck out of it, because it's ancient, but it's really, really good. It's just... Gives me goosebumps every time. This is my... It's got a bit... Oh, man. Every time I play it, it always edges up just right next to Kingdom Hearts at number one. But I, I don't I don't think it can quite overtake. It's my favorite. And I think it is the best series of games I've ever played objectively. It is by far the most lovable series of characters. And the combat just gets better and better as it goes on. I'm really excited for Mass Effect 3's combat. I'm surprised they didn't remake both games, both Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, with the combat of Mass Effect 3. Maybe it would have created too many issues with the geography and the level layouts and everything. But holy fucking shit, man, does Mass Effect 3 have some incredible, incredible abilities. And, uh, ways to utilize the environment and all kinds of shit like that, which is only shown off even more in its DLC. Uh, it's a really good way of setting up Andromeda, and honestly, if you can combine, um, the groundedness of Mass Effect 3, 3's combat, with the, um, like, combos you can rack up, and, and not even really maneuverability, because I think I prefer Mass Effect 3's way, I, if, if they include maneuverability like Andromeda in Mass Effect 4, then 
you're not going to have the really tight tactical level design that I really like in a Bioware game. Like, being able to position your boys and everything. I know I didn't do it much, but that's because I was overpowered as shit, even on insanity mode. Because I did everything. Uh, if I came to that last bit, um, at, at like 10 levels lower or whatever the fuck, and I wasn't people- I wasn't moving people around as much as I possibly could, um, to move them into different situations, to make them target each individual boy, I would not have survived, long, like, at all. You- you absolutely have to do that. I say Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin worked on, worked on Mass Effect 2. Uh, okay. Did he provide all the fucking crocodiles to model Grunt off of? I imagine so. Watching you play has unlocked so much stored Mass Effect knowledge. <laughs> Stanley Wu! One of my favorite things to do in, um, in, in credit sequences. One, to point out the best names I can fucking see. But there's also, I really enjoy doing a Wang counter. There's always a billion Wangs. With no no matter what, if it's a triple A game, at least ten Wangs have worked on it. It's absolutely incredible. I, it's never ever ever failed. And I mean a big triple A game. I don't mean like it's a triple A developer doing a small game, because then you know you might only get like four or five Wangs, and that's a that's a disappointing quantity of Wang, you know. God damn. I said Stanley Wu's everywhere. What the fuck? Yeah, two people were in the cast of this game. Just Chris Possel and Brian Bl Brian Bloom. Absolutely no one else. What the fuck is that talking about? <laughs> what? I don't know. This is the greatest, dude. I love this game series more than I could ever, ever, ever profess. And I can't wait for Mass Effect 3. We're gonna take a little bit of a... Well, we've still got so much more to do. We got at least one fucking stream left to uh, get through all the DLC. I'm not, I'm not sure I can start it tonight? What time is it? It's nearly six. And I don't think all the DLC is gonna take up a whole eight hour stream. Uh, but then it's, it'd be even weirder if it, like, I only did the DLC for like four hours tomorrow and then stopped if I had already done one tonight or whatever. Uh, so I think we might have to end off a little bit early tonight. I don't like ending early. I absolutely hate it, but it is like a sneaky little Sunday stream anyway. These don't normally happen. Uh, even though I did appear on someone else's channel last night. I don't know, it's confusing. I don't know how to Twitch properly. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for Mass Effect 3. After we're done with the DLC, there will be a little bit of a break in between um, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 because I'm gonna finally negotiate with terrorists. I will finally give in to their demands and I will be playing Final Fantasy 14 for a little bit. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing it for. Probably, maybe through like V1 or whatever the hell? Or v what is it? 2? The second expansion, which is just the main game itself. I always forget what Scott calls it, but that thing. We'll probably play through the whole of that or something, uh, and then we'll go back to Mass Effect 3 or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, because last time in between Mass Effect 1 and 2, we got in like four or five indie games, right? <laughs> there was a lot of fucking space to get some smaller things in, but if I'm doing another big AAA massive fucking campaign, I'll probably only want to do one because I can only stay away from Mass Effect for so fucking long. Oh, dude. It's just, it's ignited so much love for the franchise again. Uh, and it's really cool seeing everyone go on their fucking journeys. Even Ash changes up a significant amount in this fucking game. And you barely fucking see her. It's unbelievable. Seeing Garrus go from the adorable little murder nerd in the first game to the Turian renegade badass Archangel. And then the meeting, it's done so fucking well. And it's fan servicey without ever stepping into the unbelievable. Uh, and now, that does change in a particular DLC where it is just, oh my god, fans, we fucking love you, but that's not until Mass Effect 3, and it's one of my favorite things of all time. Whenever I play through that DLC, it's probably the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> Mass Effect holds a really fucking special spot in my heart, and I, I... If I can make this entire channel nothing but play- Victoria Gay! Alright, we're done. We, we won. That's the best one. Um, but if we, if I can make this entire channel nothing but constant Mass Effect, uh, then that is exactly, exactly what I would do. But no, I happen to like, like, I don't know, two or something other games than this, so, uh, we gotta play those at some point. Complete unfinished fin uh, finished missions, develop relationships, play downloaded content, explore the galaxy, anything you've missed, absolutely, we're not importing Shepard. We got boys to talk to! We're back in my room, did I get any free fish? Can we just put the human reaper in here and fucking drown it? That would be nice. That would be satisfying. The last time we will ever hear the infamous. I opened a toilet door by- I want to talk to the fucking hamster. Hello? <laughs> God, it's perfect. Let's oil slick the fish. Bring him down once and for all. The greatest threat to humanity in the entire fucking galaxy. Who do we want to hang out with first? What? 
Oh, I accidentally went back to my cabin. No, it's gotta be Jacob. Unfortunately, we gotta do Morden alongside, like, fucking Jacob. Ugh. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. Is this how I unlock the infamous, uh, <laughs> just, how's the crew? Not very interested in you, but like, well, what's going on with everyone else? You know, the ones I actually how like, doing, Kelly? you know, the ones who aren't ginger? I don't know. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. What? Oozing Why are you doing a Thane thing? Faint sobs echoing the confined space, but I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. You don't look nearly as you gooey as you suggest. I always have time for you, Commander. I <laughs> she really okay. are suddenly back to the old fucking Kelly, huh? Yeah, I don't I care. Know. I'm trying to ask how the crew is. Nothing right now. Anything else? Are you serious? No one has any requests? No one even wants to talk to me after saving the damn world? What do you mean, no new messages? You just told me I do. What a lying whore. I hate her. All right, we're going to go and speak to Joker. We're going to speak to Edie. I imagine even Edie has something to say now. Yeah, oh, my people are back! Really All the people I didn't even know the name of! Fantastic. I'm so, so happy to resurrect the eggs. For fuck's sake, can we find somewhere with like an ounce of detail on their face? Please! Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? There's another game, so who the fuck knows? <laughs> How are things? Everything is going well up here. You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. Nope, no, but no, it is I'm exactly what you're gonna do. Updated. Quietly. Joker, don't abuse it. He isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying, you'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. <laughs> Scott sent you an email, something about playing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> See you, Commander. Could it be about the uh, award-winning expansion Heaven's Ward and the uh, thirty-day yes, free trial? Could I have anything about that at That's all? That's all for Edie doesn't want to fucking talk to me. Edie, you have control. You are Norman. It would be like speaking to Norman after I put you through all that hell, and you just have nothing to say. Okay, fantastic. Definitely not Morden. Before we do Jacob, Jacob needs to get the fuck out of my face forever. So that is exactly what will happen. Jacob? Did you die and I didn't even notice? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. Well, stop wearing his, his clothes, then. It's not over, though. Bad guy is on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I mean, I could also, you know, make you a nice little sweater if you want to take off the elusive man's used latex suit. I just I'm want to talk. In getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing. Jacob, you love me. What do you mean? We'll talk later. Bye. Commander. Never again. Uh, you're lucky you've got a vaguely cool voice. Jesus Christ, I hate him. Research? Did we get anything from in there? No, I can just retrain myself. What the Shot fuck is that shotgun damage? Base in ruins. To Chunker? Extremely impressive. A DLC? Maybe. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Wanna talk about you, you beautiful? Got a to talk. Uh, some other time. About to what? Take a new bioweapon. Anything oh, else? stop fucking here, causing all the disease. We've got enough smallpox on this stupid fucking ship. Do we still have the Varen STD? Does someone still be shagging tooth dogs? They have teeth everywhere, man. Not just in the mouth, every single way you could poss every single place you could possibly breach. Maybe that's why jo Jacob never has fucking time to talk to me. Too busy picking fangs out of his cock. Ah, uh, Kasumi! Hey, hey, we did everything. Do you have any chance to talk oh, to me anymore? You and oh my Kat god. Finally got together, eh? Don't yes, worry, that's exciting, I, I guess. She took her mask off with you. That took a lot of trust on her part. Tally is so cute. You're I all know, she talks that's about the whole point. Sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. It's so sad that these guys, Kasumi and um, uh, Zaid, were meant to be fully fledged characters, but EA were like, nope, we need DLC, make character DLC. So they weren't able to be fleshed out as much because they couldn't be integral to the fucking story. Or, you know, that would cause fucking pro- At least they got loyalty missions. It's surprising Someone they even did. Someone stomping out of her room really upset. Were you trying to get together with her? Because I really don't think that's going to happen. Thank you, thank you. What? But it can. I know you can kiss her. I don't. I don't know why that. What the hell I did wrong? 
Maybe I pushed a little hard, but it was all Paragon options. Shepard's a filthy, filthy you good boy. Choice, He's our slash nice guys and a man. I believe you made the correct one. Hmm. I want to talk about you. Have thing. a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd what like the to fuck? consider what we've already discussed. I should go. There's so much more in the cut content mod. And like all the lines are recorded. How much longer could it have t like taken you to have people get up? Because it's it's really, really obvious when like cut content dialogue is playing, is their faces go directly forward, their eyes open really, really wide, and only their lips move. It's really fucking creepy. And uh, there's a big part of a conversation with Anderson that does that in the third game that adds so much to the fucking conversation, but completely ruins the immersion because it stops him being animated. And it is so, so fucking sad because it's the best conversation I in the whole series. I believe you did the right thing by well, destroying obviously. that place. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. Talked about her saggy bloobs. Oh wait, can you tell that Krogan that you killed a human Reaper baby? I wonder. Yeah, let's go back there anyway, because I want to. I want to see if I can get all the upgrades right. in the game, and I can't think Perhaps it would be we anywhere speak else. Later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Wonder if I could tell the Krogan about said saggy fucking bloobs. The bluest of all bloobs. Oh, we gotta have one last little delve into the woman's bathroom, right? There's absolutely no way. That there's no way we can end off the main game without one last little tri- I'm almost nervous. I don't want it to be the last time. This is where we spent all our greatest, greatest moments. Abs all the memories in here, playing around with Garrus. The men's restroom- Using those showers heads, shower heads. Fine, fine, whatever. No space minge for me, trademark. Ah, We do say space far too fucking much. There's not gonna be another way. What I call it last time? It is Cosmic Minge, but I think Infinity I Minge was also there. I like that a lot. Solar Minge, implying the uh, existence of Minge Wind. Is still in the infirmary, though I, think his I like that a lot. Broken than his bones. I don't know who that is. Joker. Oh! Oh, can I actually hang out with him? Wait, he's over my plastic surgery table! No one heals anyone's scars but me! Fuck this guy! I'm still a little shaken what? from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. True friends come quickly. Remember it, everyone. Remember it, lads. Alright, let's go hang out with Legion, I think, because unfortunately he's the closest. I was gonna save him until the last on the deck, and then I remember Garrison's existence. Shepard, Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding. My species was not offered it. I was, and I'm a dick. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I want to learn about I'd you, like Legion. I'd find out more about you. Specify. Yes, there is I've more! I've never encountered a get that had more than animal intelligence. We are Rude. a unique hardware platform. Most oh, do you send idiots in? can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. I mean, they're smart enough to use tactics. They're smart enough to gun you the fuck down, Shepard. They're smart enough to beat you. It's smart enough to know how flamethrowers work and how to flank and all that shit to use them properly. Then when animals, but then again, I guess wolves know how to do the same shit. Geth form a so network. Geth have huh? to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes, the creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks: construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms sharing resources were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. Are you one Geth or many? You're Legion, Shepard. We know this, but I want to ask so everything to, to milk person, every last speck a thousand of dialogue milk that I can. Milk every speck of dialogue. Good job. Intelligence programs. Together, really good job at wording, Brink. single gestalt intellect, what you refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. So you're an advanced you're model. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating ah. alone. We are still Oh, which is why there are 1,000 of you in your sharing. platform, I understand now. Still connected to the greater network for data sharing. Are there more like you? How many you? other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This Holy is shit! This suited for a network. He's been Etsy-oing yeah, everywhere! Mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. 
no one even knew you were here. Or maybe they did, and everyone who did know died. Wouldn't surprise me. Are you connected now? So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Gath, we serve as a terminal. Aww, can we? Can we say How many hi? Other like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Gath installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, I already read Gath that. I just wanted to ask about the Gath Hawks. improve the performance of Gath near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Gath in communion. If you destroy them, it is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. What do you what share? What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Allow it, absolutely! Our oldest log is timestamped from Creator Year 2463, third day of Fall Dash, Waxing Moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Edie, you Our okay? Network secure, Edie. Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand <laughs> voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. A mind the size of a galactic arm. How I have no idea what the hell that means. Without other minds to interact with. I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. <laughs> they just ask how she gets by dealing with people as stupid as us all the fucking time. If you salute a guest, is that an orgy? I mean, I'm not sure. The only accessible hole that I could see in Legion is this giant chest chasm. I, I, I think if I put myself in there, it's more of a massacre than an orgy. Give me an example, Can record. you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from Creator Year 2485, 18th day of Loom Shao, New Moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the... Scroll of Ancestors. Only Quarians have souls. You're a mechanism. Recording what was that? Minutes. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No. It was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. <laughs> Legion has the coolest dialogue in the entire fucking game. Asking the deep questions. <laughs> Only the deepest, Jamie. That's interesting, but I must get back it's to all Shepard's duties. interested in. We will remain here. Goodbye, Edie. I think there's a couple more conversations we can have with Legion, which is another reason why I uh, wanted to um, uh, save the DLC till post game. I think we may be able to get more out of him than I ever have before. You really are a hero. No sooner had the collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. You don't seem very happy about me being a- You don't really seem very happy about anything, but I guess that's, uh, that's just you, We Gardner. had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree. I mean, he is the janitor. But we had no choice. If he licks the toilets, you gotta assume he had to lick up all the Collector goo and the, uh, and the blood of all our friends, too. He might have liked a couple of those dudes. Or maybe there just wasn't quite enough blood for him. Maybe he wished there was more. Maybe he finally wished Joker would get out of his face. Can we talk? Yeah, have a minute, Miranda. There's a lot to do, Shepard. Of course, Commander. Maybe Jacob's disease makes him extra fucking tasty. Oh, my boy! I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Gas can be the last on here. We're gonna save Tali till last on the engineering deck, and then it's finally time to go see if we can hang out with that one Krogan. Maybe even Rex as well. Sarah, Please, no, God, Rex has to have some kind of dialogue. Me. Never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. <laughs> you just want to talk, beautiful. Gonna wait for a bit. I'm gonna oh. have some calibrations. Don't I just saved first. the world, Garrett. Come on! You're my best friend! You are the best boy in the entirety of the galaxy! And that's all we get from him. Fuck! I can't but I've only ever played with Cop Content Monster. Like, there hasn't been a single playthrough other than the legendary edition that hasn't had them. So seeing how barren 
the main game's conversations really are in, in comparison. They're still amazing, still the best in the world. But fuck, it's weird. We hey, Grunt. Great battle, Shepard. And you were barely the there, my son. Instead of handing it to Cerberus. <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Very, Just very true. It. How you doing? No, I think more than the fucking tank. Oh no! Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's I thought awesome. everyone reverted to that Shepherd. bit where you know no one really likes you. Jacob did. Jacob wasn't like the oh go get some fucking drinks on the Citadel because now it's actually happened. He didn't expect any of us to fucking live. Clearly, now you actually need to go out and party with me. The most uptight bitch in the galaxy. All right, let's see what Zaid has to say. Probably nothing. This mission takes me back. What do you mean we're finished? Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bombs. <laughs> he doesn't even notice that I left. He just likes talking to himself. Stupid fucking old man. Who let you put your teeth back in without permission? Ah, uh, is it just? I bet it's just gonna be a fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> After all that, you are fucking kidding! That's incredible! Ah, <laughs> oh, Jack. Beautiful, beautiful last words there. Let's hope we never see Thanks you again. Get us, Commander. I felt oh, you actually want to talk, probably. You arrived just in time. Thank Which you. means time for more gambling. Do you, do you still like actually, servers? We don't know much about the Anything What else? the fuck? Yeah, we'll I thought you'd Commander. have something new to say now that we just don't even work for him. Ah, uh, wait, we down to... Is there no one left? Said barely can't even want to talk about shit. Oh my Just god! So you no, know, I'm running a fever. I've got a nasty cough, and my sinuses are filled with something I can't even describe. Oh, that one—that one might be my fault. So totally sorry. Worth it. <laughs> She's so cute. Have you got time Let's to talk. talk. For you, of course. I can't tell you, but I understand if you what? need to find something. I don't want to risk Thank you. Thank you, Tali. We just fucked. Like I've literally spunked in your nostrils. And you can't get it out, no matter how hard you try. The funnel is useless. Alright, whatever. That's weird. I expected something else from her. Man! Alright, let's make our way to Tachanka. Let's look around for that big sexy fucking shot. We'll go to Omega as well at some point. We might try talking to Arya. Uh, can I just go back? <laughs> let's, go, uh, let's go visit our new friends, shall we? No one's ever going through there ever again. Understood. Understood. Can't say I really blame you. Isn't the Citadel nearby? Because I can visit Andy as well. Big Daddy Andy. Yeah, we'll do that now. Because Anderson is really easy to get to. Fuck me, I'm hungry. Like, really hungry too. I, like, I'm okay eating snacks on stream. Not really okay, like, cooking a pizza on stream. That would be weird. That's just me disappearing for like 12 whole minutes. Yes, I've got it memorized. Yes, that's all I live off of. Ah, uh, legions coming to the Citadel because I always find it hilarious. Especially when the bitch is like, but what if those are sorry again? And get, he's just standing right there. You've clearly never seen them, lady. Shut the fuck up. Let's bring both the things she's most scared of. Samara can level up a little bit. We want heavy reeve. You're not quite close enough to get shield boost yet, which sucks us. This recruits is at 20 kilos. He's still complaining about Isaac Newton. I think he might be. All right, to the Presidium we go. I can't believe we don't get to hang out with Shire again. All she gets to do is send us one fucking email. Something I can do for you, Shepard? What the fuck are you talking about? I'll yes, back, obviously. Knowing the truth, of but I know. Anderson, I've saved the world. Is open. What the f? Uh, I don't want to keep going on about content, but this is pathetic. Is this really what like console players have been dealing with forever? Holy shit! I hope modders hurry the fuck up. I mean, take your time, make it fucking perfect and everything, but this is insane! Conversations that you're clearly supposed to have just don't happen. Maybe they're saved for the third game, but... Well, I mean, clearly not. If they were cut content, they were meant to be here. Or originally intended to be here, at the very least. I love how Tachanka's just one of those meat orbs. Actually, no. It, it's a meat orb from afar, but nowhere else. Never mind, it actually kind of looks boring. It just looks like sad, grayscale Jupiter. Ah, uh, we're bringing Legion everywhere. I want to see what Rex will do to a Geth. Bring Tali back home. Home? <laughs> Whatever, she just loves Re Rex. Rex is everyone's home. If we could all live against his crusty grandpa bosoms, that is exactly what we would do. R.I.P. content. R.I.P. fucking content. Grunt isn't here. I, I literally haven't brought Grunt. What do you- do you just assume? 
Are you confusing Tali for Gr You rude, rude bastard. She may be his new mom. But we do not- we are not part of Clan Erdna. I want to find the dude with the m m most withered out of any Krogan boar, so we sent to the lady camp. Ratch, are you the one selling? I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. There was so much being sold by that one doctor prick for some reason. Despite being a doctor, he had like all the last weapon upgrades. I think we got most of them, but I don't know if we got all of them. I don't know why you exist, actually. You've never really done anything. Shut the fuck up. I can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford all of it! What do I want to go with? Shotgun, heavy pistol? I mean, this is good for me, but it's not good for everyone else. And everyone else basically uses assault rifles or shotguns. Can make Tali half decent. Wait, but we're missing multiple on shotguns, because this is like the... No, assault rifle just gets 60 and everything else gets 50, apparently. Synchronized pulsar, titan pulsar, kinetic pulsar. Shotgun. We'll make Tali decent. There you go, okay. I thought we'd be able to do everything. Clearly fucking not. What does Fortak have to say? Clan Erdnot has a new member. And Clan Erdnot isn't even fucking here. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass off my work as his reward. Aww. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot. This guy's having the worst the worst life, really. But perhaps I can offer a discount. I hate myself. I hate myself so much. I could have got a discount so quickly. Enjoy your Bye. research. Yes, yes. Oh, he already was offering that discount? Okay, then that's fine. I have $800. The savior of the world is barely getting getting by on fucking welfare. <laughs> the fuck am I meant to do here? Give me money. Why did I let the elusive man the cut me off? We could have been such good friends. This condition. The creators were not so aggressive during the morning war. We expected hmm. to get our worlds back. We didn't want to destroy them. We are glad you did not. You could not endure the conditions Krogan thrive in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Legion. Leave her the fuck alone. She's Shepard. trying to befriend you. What can I do for you, my friend? Good to see are you. Are you serious? Rex. Wish I could. Rex, I just saved the world. Rex, I would trade Grunt for you in a fucking instant, and I find Grunt to be the most adorable boy in the entire galaxy. I miss him desperately already, and he's just back on my fucking ship. But in seconds, I I'd kill him myself. I would strip naked, fight him in his armor, hand to fucking hand. He can keep his shotgun if he wants, and I would find a way. I would tear him in fucking half just to get to you, Rex. Shepard, I hope you have more blood on your hands and more tales of conquest. What better for proud warriors to discuss? I also faced I a reaper. An ancient sapient synthetic, bigger than a dreadnought and capable of devastating a planet. A big tale, Shepard. I know you are a warrior of renown, but that is much. Well, that's believe. talking about sovereign, if it's talking Still, about the human. I almost believe you. If true, it is likely more foreshadow than history. Cool. I should go. May your foes cool. Be At least that happened. To keep you sharp. No, please don't say that. I want to be sharp. I want to be a blunt pillow idiot, and I want to just stumble through and somehow get victory. To be fair, we did Mass Effect 1 on Insanity, we did Mass Effect 2 on Insanity. Mass Effect 3 on Insanity is going to be a fucking breeze. It, there is no goddamn comparison. Mass Effect 3, like, it, it's the only one I've completed on Insanity, and I, I've never had an issue before. Like, it's the one I always play on Insanity. Oh, I guess, I think I only did it once, but it was also the one that I did on YouTube. And I had no issues at all beating that fucking thing. It was easy. I, I can't imagine playing that game on a lower difficulty. I imagine that's when EA really got their claws into Bioware and was like, No, you can't make a hard RPG. You can't make people try. People don't like trying. And it's true, but I will try for this game. You just got the big if true. Huh? You just got big if trued by a Krogan. <laughs> But he believed! He kind of believed! <laughs> and it was really, really cute! Is there anywhere else to go? I mean, if Anderson had nothing to say... Surely... Actually, I think the Citadel is completely optional in the entire game. I don't think you ever have to come here. I mean, it's there's a lot of uh, reasons to go there. You can talk to Andy. You can get your Spectre status re reinstated. Um, you can... Uh, buy a shitload of things in the shop. You can do a load of loyalty missions there. You can pick up. 
Kasumi and someone else? No, I think it's just Kasumi. Yeah, you, it's completely optional the entire- that is insane. No wonder they didn't put all the effort in the world into it. Omega's more important, technically. Let's make our way back up to the cabin. And there's just a few more things we gotta do. Open up that journal. Almost put on the music, but I know I'm gonna be reading for a while. Lair of the Shadow Broker. In the next one, it's time to go help out our girl Liara. And I'm definitely bringing Tali and it's gonna be the most awkward experience of our lives. I'm getting slapped many, many times. Arrival. I can't really say anything about that without huge spoilers. Same with Overlord. But goddamn, the DLC of two does not fucking disappoint. And the and one of these DLCs sets up Mass Effect 3 in the best way imaginable. And I'm very, very excited. Which is kind of why another one of the reasons I don't want to do the vast majority of DLC before we finish the- Like, we did Firewalk and we obviously got Kasumi and Saeed, because that would be st I think you probably could go pick them up now. I wonder what the dialogue would be like. I wonder if they'd just die. I- I- I don't know how this works. Maybe the Citadel gets reaped? Or collected, I guess, if you're, um, if you're not- not an idiot and <laughs> pick them up, like, immediately. So, just how this entire game- sorry, this entire playthrough has been visual and auditory diarrhea for every one of my viewers. We will end this stream in the bathroom. We will be back tomorrow. I'm sorry for the kind of like the shorter one here. I know we're only on until 6.10. That's unheard of. We always go to like 8 a.m. or later at this point. Um, and I know I only started at one, so it's, it's a bit, it's a very, very, very short stream. Five hours, what the fuck? That's absolutely nothing. I feel unworthy of your views, your eyes, your juicy, juicy watch time. But whatever. And for my beautiful, beautiful second family on YouTube, I couldn't force you guys to finish up in the toilet with me. What, a, what an interesting way of putting that sentence. Thank you, me. Thank you, stupid brain. We're gonna look at the pretty little fishies and maybe even get one last sneaky little look at my hamster. And go away, toilet. Stop watching me. Why have you put the hamster so close to the toilet? He, what the fuck? He didn't even squeak. Are you too scared? The collectors come for you too? There it is. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here once again. Um, Mass Effect 2 really is one of the greatest games in, of all time to me. An absolute fucking 10 out of 10. The whole series is 10 out of 10. The series as a whole is like a 43 and a half out of fucking 10. Because it's, oh God, it's the greatest. It is the absolute greatest. And I am, I don't know, I don't know if you could tell today, but I was a little bit, one, barely had woke up when I started streaming. Jesus Christ, I gotta stop doing that. Two, I'm worried, man. I'm s whenever I finish this series of games, there is a void. I don't know why I even come back because my god, it is torture. It might be the greatest ride of a fucking lifetime while you're playing the games. And then, then you come back, you get to this point, and you're at Mass Effect. The, 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 even the, the, the bridge between Mass Effect 2 and 3 is a painful one because you know it is the last hunk of Mass Effect content that you will ever really get to play and enjoy because Andromeda doesn't fucking count, it's a spin-off if anything, and a really, really bad one, it's a fan-made, it's a mod, it's a mod, just believe it's a mod, just believe it's a very, very bad mod, actually a very impressive mod, but still, Jesus, get some writers, civilians doing it in your spare time, civilian implies <laughs> that game developers are like, <laughs> an all-powerful militia controlling the world and like that marital law, marital law? Jesus Christ. Martial law, yeah, my brain isn't here. Um, but yeah, you might have noticed I'm like a little bit, uh, pensive, like tentative to go on and everything in this. Like my, I think my mind was elsewhere in this session because fuck, damn it. What is this? I did not know this exists. Do we use this on Tali? I don't, I don't know how we use this on Tali. She would very much expand. Call Tali up! Whoa! Whoa, I forgot about this! Give me a second! All right, YouTube people, you are getting yet another sex scene just to yourself because I forgot that this exists. Yes, absolutely, we're inviting Tali up. Aww, aww, this is so sweet. Press and hold F to continue. Is this the fuck button? Is this F for fuck or F for uh, fuck off? Unfortunately, okay. Didn't want to add that. Oh, we could just rest in bed. Tali, join me! What's going on? Oh, Oh, at least that's absolutely adorable. Take off your mask! Why are you so- Pussy. Come on, dammit. 
I won't fill your nose with gunk again. That was a one-time thing. I was trying it out. Turns out I'm not into it, and I can never look at you in the same way ever again. But you know what? That is the exact position in which we will finish this up in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share, comment, all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this strike signing off. Goodbye.